there have been reports of otters fighting and people trying to break them up. Now you're thinking, otters? Fighting? How can that be? After all, they hold hands to sleep, right? And pick up their favourite rock and keep it as a pet? Or it was probably a cute fight, because otters are so cute and cuddly. Wrong! Otters are not the innocent animals you think they are. They're ruthless, they're mean, and they can be big jerks. There are 13 species of otter in the world. Some fight with each other, some attack crocodiles, while others are known to be rapists. Yes, you heard that right, rapists. Sea otters specifically are known to rape baby seals repeatedly until they die. Then they keep their bodies and rape them for days after. A 2010 study by Harris et al. tracked male southern sea otters in the Californian Monterey Bay area. They documented 19 encounters of seals and otters, including forced copulation and I quote directly, at least three different male sea otters were observed copulating with harbour seals up to seven days post-mortem. The baby seals that did make it out alive didn't look so great. So why did the otters do this? In the Monterey Bay area, researchers speculate that this may have been because the population had too many males and not enough females. So only the dominant males get to mate, while the others end up seeking alternatives. In this case, baby seals. In Singapore, things aren't quite as extreme. The brawling among otters here is largely because they are territorial and not because they're, you know, a little rapey. Mr. N. Sivasotti, senior lecturer at the Department of Biological Sciences at NUS, also pointed out that the sea otters in the study are only found in the US and Alaska, and the skewed gender ratio of the population is an anomaly. So there you have it. Otters aren't quite the cuddly, friendly animals that they seem to be. And the next time you encounter a wild otter, it may just be the wisest to stay away.